This is a really quick tutorial on how to use SVN in order to download Android ROM nightly. And I guess the first thing we want to do is we want to go to your applications drawer and open up the Ubuntu Software Center. From there you want to type in the search box Rabbit BCS. And install all everything that comes up. Now, I already installed this on my computer, so um, obviously I can't reinstall it. It's going to prompt you for your uh, authentication password. So just enter your password from there. While you're waiting for it to load, what you can do is uh, set up your folders that you're going to need. For me, I put it in my documents and I created a folder called Evo 3D. And then you're going to want to create two folders. Uh, one is going to be labeled current. The other is going to be labeled whatever ROM you're using. In this case, we're going to label it uh, warm 2.3 for Min's warm ROM. And then once you're done uh, installing Rabbit VCS, uh, we'll go to the next step. Okay. Now we want to be we want to run SVN to the checkout. So what you need to do is you need to open up your browser. Give me a second here to get my head documents back open. Okay. Now you want to open up your browser and go to wherever your ROM repository is. Once again, I'm using, this is for warm ROM, so warm 2.3. Then you want to click on source, and highlight the SVN checkout address without the last little slash thing at the end. You right click on the warm folder, or the ROM folder, click on checkout, and just paste that SVN address or URL into the space provided. And then click OK. Now this usually takes a while the first time around depending on your download speed. So uh, you might want to go do something for a little bit. I think the first time I tried this it took like half an hour to an hour. And what it's doing is it's downloading all your files and stuff. OK. So. Go back to the warm or uh, your ROM folder. And you should notice there's an SVN folder in there. So you want to right click on that SVN folder. Make sure there's a green check mark there too, because that means it's done. And you want to click on export. And when uh, you basically want to export to that current folder that you had made previously. Select it, then open. Okay. This also kind of takes a while. Alright, now that that's done, you go back to your current folder, and this is basically where you can modify it. Now, what I first thing I'll do is 
I'll actually add the revision number to the change log that's included. Um, now, not every SVM is going to have a change log. This is just what they do. So, this is R280. And I'll just throw on my desktop or something. Um, then I'll also edit the build prop. Uh, just because the revision number isn't actually in the build prop for one night. So, underscore hyphen R280. Alright. Then I'll save it. where my computer starts to freak out a little bit just because I don't really have enough RAM, but it's another story. And you want to basically copy all the folders and you want to compress it into a zip file. Name it whatever you want. Nightly underscore R2. Okay. Then create. Make sure, you're safe. Make sure you compress it as a zip file as well. And you let that run. Then what I usually do after that is I'll actually double check the MD5 cell as well, just in case. So I do, I'll just do it to a terminal. I'll navigate to the current folder, which is where our newly acquired zip is, is uh, sitting, I guess. And then once I get to there, I'll just type in MD5 sum and the name of the zip file, which is 1.2.3.nightly hyphen R280. Enter. That's it. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and copy this MD5 sum. And I'm going to throw it in the change log that I also labeled R280. Or 284, whatever. I've been saying 280 this entire time. My bad. Save it, close that. R two eighty four. Okay, then I'll just take that zip file and throw that there. I already deleted the contents of my current folder just because I figured I didn't need it anymore. I could always update it later. That's how you do it. Enjoy.